For a boy, the Christmas world may include a glimpse of what it's like to be a man. Lynn Parsons is 13. Today he takes a step into man's territory. He's going hunting. And so that we could make this journey with Lynn Parsons, there's been a camouflaged television camera 45 feet up in a tree for the past 13 hours down at Wallace Claypool's rice plantation, Wild Acres Reservoir near Wiener, Arkansas, 120 miles north of Little Rock. If we're lucky, you'll see for the first time on live television approximately one quarter of a million ducks take wing right in your living room. So if you'll just not stir or breathe. Yes, sir. Those are ducks out there. I'd say, oh, somewhere between 250 and, oh, maybe 300,000 of them. Now, I'm Tom Morrill, and I'm educational director of the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. And my work is conservation of wildlife, educating for it. And men like Claypool certainly made a big part in conservation through close cooperation with the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission and in providing rest areas such as this for ducks. Well, the ducks will come back year after year. Now, of course, ducks are not native to Arkansas. They only visit us in the wintertime. Then, early in the spring, they fare off and return to the nesting grounds in the northern states and all up into the Canadian provinces where the Canadian people and Ducks Unlimited, with the cooperation of the Canadian government, have restored much of the breeding grounds that were once unfit for use. There, they raise their families and return to winter in the duck country of Arkansas, which extends from whoa, way up near Jonesboro on the north, 250 miles south along the eastern part of the state, through the Stuttgart, Hazen, Lone Oak, and DeWitt areas, and on to the Louisiana line. Now, about 90% of the duck population of Arkansas is a highly prized mallet, with teals, pintails, ringnecks, bald face, buffalo heads, and wood ducks, making up the majority of the other tender facts. And you know, I like to think of the wild things, especially the ducks, as extras in the house that God gave us. I like to think that he created this house of ours. He provided everything actually necessary to live in. Then, in order to make the house a more pleasant place in which to live, he created the wild things, the extras. And I think at this Christmas season, when there should be peace on earth, goodwill toward man, we humans might take a lesson from the ducks. For although there are thousands of separate families of ducks, and ducks of several species all living together, they live in peace and harmony, each respecting the rights of others. Yes, really a lesson from the wild things that living together, with peace on earth, goodwill toward man. You know, when I first started hunting ducks in Arkansas more than 50 years ago, the ducks fed on the rice fields in the daytime, going back to the lakes and streams at night to roost. But they were shot at so much on the rice fields, and since there were no rest areas there, they completely changed the habit. Now they go to the feeding grounds early in the morning and late in the evening, and that's when they become available to the guns of the hunters. Then they come back to the rest areas in the daytime to rest in peace and quiet. And now we are approaching the evening time, and the ducks are getting hungry. They're becoming restless. Ducks for go! Thousands of them up there.
Everett, the Claypool, and George Now. George is uh, Claypool's doll, a fight our a Labrador retriever. There's ducks in the air, and the thing to do is for Wallace to call them in. Make them come to him. And the shotgun's only good up to about 50 yards, so the ducks really have a fighting chance. And men join in duck hunting from Wallace. And Wallace Claypool really knows how, for not only has he hunted ducks for over 50 years, he was world champion duck caller in 1940. Remember, Lynn, now, lead your ducks when you see them. And now, let him look at him. Let him see Now it's George's time. There he goes to retrieve the dead dog. Now there's a dog with duck sack. Don't you wish you had one like this? I think another extra in the house that God gave us is a dog. A good day for a boy who is getting to be a man among the rice fields of Wiener, Arkansas.